permanent ping pong tables, cornhole setups, tech ball, foosball, and some chess tables. But that's just the small stuff. San Francisco's UN Plaza Skate Park officially opens Wednesday in an event called Reopening UN Plaza. It brings some more energy to the neighborhood, which I felt like it was been missing maybe uh, past years. I think all the skateboarders and BMXers, extreme sports people, were looking for something like this. Andrew Toralvo is a professional skateboarder in the Bay. He was one of dozens of skaters in the area that we saw Tuesday afternoon, the one with this massive ollie. Lots has been made about UN Plaza being an open-air drug market in the past. When city officials held a special outdoor hearing on the issue last spring, people shouted as Mayor London Breed spoke. Someone was taken down by police after throwing a brick towards officials. With skateboarding, it's going to bring less sketchy activities around. A workout area was also installed at UN Plaza, and Xavier Hagwood was busy grinding into shape when we spoke with him. So hopefully we can have some oversight, people here to kind of usher people in and out to make sure, you know, we don't have anybody destroying the property. But not everyone is happy about these renovations here at UN Plaza. Those with the farmer's market were relocated here across the street, and they're not happy about it. I mean, I think the fact that it can't accommodate the farmer's market is real detrimental to the Tenderloin neighborhood and the South of Market neighborhood that really depend on that market. John McCormick shops at the farmer's market and says there has been a huge drop in the number of people attending. McCormick also believes that this just pushes the homeless and drug dealers elsewhere. Tuesday night, homeless individuals were lined up, not in UN Plaza, but along a wall outside the nearby Asian Art Museum. UN Plaza, though, certainly picturesque on Tuesday night. J.R. Stone, ABC7 News.